What's up guys, you're watching Dan's How To Videos and today we are continuing the How To series on the iPhone 5. If you missed any of these videos, the link is in the description, check it out. Today's video is a cool settings video. I'm going to show you some settings here that I've never really seen anybody use but have some cool features involved in it. So let's get started. So as I've been using my iPhone for the past few months, I've gone through the settings and found a couple of them that I thought were pretty cool and some that I've never seen people use. Now in the general tab, if you go down to accessibility and then to assistive touch, go and turn that on. If you watched my video yesterday, I touched on this a little bit. It gives you a little square with a white circle in the middle. And I was telling you guys yesterday how you can use this as a digital home button if your home button is broken. So anyway, today I'm gonna to go through the other settings more in detail and give you guys some ideas or show you exactly what they do. So if you open it up, you have Siri, device, home, and favorites. Obviously home takes you home. Siri will turn Siri on. So you can actually just access it through this little button. You have your device and favorites. We'll get into device first. So if we go into a website here, let's just move this little square over. We'll click device. We can rotate the screen. We can rotate it right, left, portrait and even upside down if we wanted to. You can mute your device just by tapping the little bell there. You can change your volume, make it down or turn it up. You can lock your screen here. It'll go ahead and lock that. We'll unlock it right now. And you can even access favorites, which is something like gestures. So what you can do here, we'll use the one that they have set up here. They have a pinch. So you can see the blue right here. And if I go and slide back and forth. You can see I'm zooming in. I can turn it a little bit, zoom out. You can actually move this over here so you can actually focus on exactly what you want to zoom in on. This is for people, I guess, who have problems with the pinch to zoom, but it's kind of cool in itself that it's offering this. Now, the best feature, I think, with uh, this setting here is in the favorites, you can actually create your own gestures. So we'll go ahead, we tap on that, and we'll create our own gesture. Now what I'm going to do is create a scrolling gesture. So I'm going to slide it up like this as it records. Now I'm going to hit stop. We'll save it. We'll call it scroll. We'll save that. And now we'll go back to the website, and I'll show you exactly how this gesture works. So we'll go into favorites. We'll click on the scroll gesture. Now you've got a circle in the middle. All I have to do is tap that, and it's going to scroll automatically for me. It's kind of cool how it does that. I mean, it's not like the best thing, but it's pretty interesting. And you can make all kinds of gestures, swiping, zooming, whatever you want to do, you can do pretty much with those uh, gesture favorites here. So that's kind of cool. Now you also have some more features here in the device. If you have uh, something that involves shaking, you can tap that, it'll make a shake. Uh, for the screen. If you want to multitask, you can use that. You can access everything down below. You can take a screenshot of your phone just by going into the more and screenshot. Now this is mainly, I guess, for people who have trouble using the phone in different aspects of what it can do, but it has some cool features, especially the gestures one that I showed you guys. So if you want to check that out, again, all you need to do is go into your settings tab, go to your general, scroll down to accessibility, and then down to assistive touch and you can activate this, create your gestures. Now a great feature as I showed you again in the other video was using it as your home button. If your home button's broken, it'll save you a lot of money, especially if your iPhone's not under warranty. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, remember to hit that like button down below, subscribe up top, share this with anybody you think would find it interesting or helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.